Alrighty, so... Alrighty, really? How about, uh, how about okay? Okay, then. We've reached our... <laughs> we've reached our patrol grid, and, uh, I've put in kind of a random assortment of turns for our patrols so that we can, uh, do sound checks basically wherever there's a flag. Um, so that should get us through our grid with well over 24 hours spent here, so we'll easily meet the mission requirements. Um, I don't really know what I'll do uh, if I don't run into anything here, because that's, in my experience, I tend not to run into a whole lot of contact. Uh, last patrol we did, of course, have that one right off the bat, but um, I'll probably kind of jog us towards Ireland, maybe, in this area, but for now we're just going to zigzag, and I will... Uh, start the recording up if I run into anybody. Shut your goddamn mouth. Are you serious? Are you being serial right now? Oh, fuck. Okay, well... Not that I'm, you know, that upset. I'm kind of happy about this little development. Convoy right in our grid. Come on. So, north. Um, seven knots. Seven knots. Da, 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 da. 25.93. So 26. I should have marked that like so. Good. And I think we will adjust course. Hmm. Like that. Just so that we turn into them as we're approaching them. So now we're going to run on the surface. And increase our speed a good bit. And I'll hopefully do a better job on this than I did on my uh, last convoy attack of chasing these guys down. That's a good distance. Um, going to have to go a little faster though to catch up. And <laughs> sure enough... The game is uh, lagging as a result of there being a bunch of fucking ships in the area. <laughs> it sucks so much that it does that. It just totally removes the shock. Uh, okay. How about once we turn, we do a dive. Alright, merchant moving slow. How about anything else? Do we stop? So, let's see. I'm really thinking for next patrol of disabling the auto contact update doohickey. Uh, just because I feel like it's honestly... I can see as a viewer being just kind of perplexed and annoyed by what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm kind of perplexed and annoyed because I don't have a good fix on uh, what I'm seeing in the convoy usually, so... Why are we spinning around? Why, why is that happening? How about this? That was really weird. Um. <laughs> I have no explanation for what just happened there. I'm trying to move us back. I don't want us to... <laughs> this damn thing handles like a cow. Alright. Jesus H, that was kind of ridiculous. Alright, let's just stop and have our sound guy give us an idea of what's uh, coming our way. Long range. Great, great. Okay, I need to really watch the time compression because that's what almost fucked me last time. Um, let's point us northeast. Or wait, no. I want us to be facing southwest. So it's probably e easier if I do it like this. And good. Okay, now we're going to go to a stop. So this looks like it might be the lead element here. Just make sure that that's the case. Yeah, that looks like it. And this appears to be a good spot for us. I might just creep a little bit closer. And we've got stuff that's passing through our blind spot, so that's good. Um, Brings a little bit more west. 
Okay, and then put us back southwest. And now we'll see if we can see anything. And again, the time of day, not perfect. It's uh, 1701 right now. Before I do this. Let's give me a reading of some kind. 44 on that warship. That's awful close. Um, there's the convoy there. We've got some kind of big-ass battleship again. That is retarded. <laughs> Come on. Are you kidding me right now? I am... I am disappoint. Um, there is a really big ship in there, and I, I'm... Uh, kind of uh, surprised because realistically um, convoys didn't really do that too often. They didn't plunk a big old battleship. Well, I guess that that's not necessarily true. Some of the Arctic convoys would have battleships in them, but that's really asking for it. I mean, having a battleship sailing at four knots? Come on. Let's get another reading on that uh, destroyer. Does anything... Constant distance. Okay, that's encouraging, so he's not going our way. He's close, but he could be a lot closer, so I'll take that for what it's worth. That is a fucking battleship! Are you kidding me right now? There's another large merchant, which seems to be what I excel at sinking. That might not actually be a battleship. That could be a cruiser. Yeah, that's a cruiser. <sighs> Well, that's a little better. That's a little bit more believable, actually, too. So I think I will take a shot at him, because cruisers are about 10,000 tons. That's the hood again. Crap. Close the book. Um, it's got two stacks. No. Possibly. A Dido class. I thought light cruisers were a little bit heavier than that. Yeah, it's got swept stacks. I think this might be our... Yeah, because it's got this crane here. This mass is like that. Marking that in. And as you might notice, we've reloaded our torpedoes. So that is good. Um, let's see what that destroyer is doing. He's turning around, and he's not coming towards us. He's doing his little circular patrol thing that he does. There's a merchant over there. That's interesting, but this is a better target for us. Okay, so I might wait until this little guy gets out of our firing arc, and I might turn us a bit. Just wait until... Oh, you know what? We're not moving. That would probably be helpful for us to actually get a shot at him. Okay, now we'll stop. And the reason why the light changed right there is that it's... Um, the game does that to in indicate that it's nighttime or close to nighttime. How about evening? We'll call it evening. Okay, so there's our Southampton-class light cruiser. Contact, Frachter, Entfernung gleichbleiben. Auf 3, 4, 5, right, whatever, I don't care. Um, let's try a little bit once more with feeling. Come on. A little bit less rock and roll. Hmm. Basically, the way that this works is you have to try and compensate for the waves and adjust. You compensate with the waves or for the waves with the keyboard and you adjust the little squiggly thing here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really technical uh, description of what is a very annoying task. You've uh, changed that with the mouse. I'm still not getting it quite right, I don't think. I'll call it that good. Okay, 45E is not quite 45. I would say something like that, maybe. And I'm going to speed him out because, like I say, 7 knots. Could be what it says on the radio reading, but that may be inaccurate. 
or not. Okay, his draft is 5.4 meters. That's probably... Ooh, these guys are really close. We've got to take the shot right away. And probably do it at, with a medium speed torpedo. Because those guys will probably see it. So we got to do this quick. Impact pistols, medium speed. Impact pistol, medium speed. Are we good? So another thing is that I can't tell which one of these lines is my firing line. It's this one here. Oh, this is... Not what I was hoping... Well, alright, let's just do it. I was debating even on whether or not I should take the shot. But, I've gone and done it now, so let's uh, turn around, do the usual... Ooh, we might have just gotten flashed. And by... <laughs> I don't mean that somebody on one of those boats waved their dick at us. I mean that uh, they might have activated a spotlight. So let's go silent, too. No, that was just the sunset. That's lucky. Okay. The torpedoes are away. And really what I should have done on that is I should have given one of them a slightly different angle. And I keep forgetting to do this. Uh, that's really a basic convoy technique. Is that... It's like insurance, basically. I mean, if you miss with one and you hit with one, then you're, you know, you're going to be okay. Oh, he's speeding up. He sees it. One of those might hit, though, still. No. He just sped up to avoid those two torpedoes. What the fuck is that over there? Okay, I'm going to pretend I didn't see that because I know what that is. I'm just going to go back on our merry way. Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> um, that is a tough thing to have seen and not do anything about. Um, ooh... I can't, I, I can't justify it to myself. I want to play this as clean as I can. So, oh, I can't even look at it. Oh, that's fucking, that sucks so much. I'm just going to show it to you guys. That is a submarine right there. That is a Type T, I believe. Yep. Oh, I wish I could shoot a torpedo at him. And there's no way I'm going to be able to hit him, so... Let's see if it hits this coastal guy. Nope. <laughs> Shit. Well, that was a failure. Um, crap in a bucket. So what we're going to have to do... I have an aft torpedo and two front torpedoes left. Um, I think what we'll do... We'll go east for a bit and we'll try to... Or northeast, how about that? And we'll try to make another attack on him. Uh, once it gets a little darker particularly. So, once that happens, I'll pick things back up. Okay, so as I was making my way away from the convoy, we uh, apparently were found out some way. So, I am putting us a little bit further down. The rear guard of the convoy appears to have heard us. So, we're going to see if we can evade their depth charges. Which we may not be able to do. He stopped pinging, though, which is encouraging. Oh. He's going right over the top of us. And he is dropping charges. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have said that was encouraging, because usually they stop pinging right before they drop depth charges. Derp. Okay. Oh. Hello. I'm awake. Yep. Oh. Getting the little camera. That's not good. They've got the depth wrong, though, it looks like. 
That one was well above us, and that other one is well to starboard. Yeah. It's hard to see what our whether it was the front or the back of the U-boat. I was. Like, so that's good. No damage there. That's excellent. I'm gonna turn us north just to be a dick. And has he resumed pinging? He has resumed pinging. Let's see if we can get any readings on if he's the only one. Actually, the best way to do that would be to do this. Okay, so we've got the one here that was on 132, and that is roughly 132 there. Uh, I don't think that a second one is going to join him, just because this is probably the back of the convoy. Um, but stranger things have happened. Uh, that submarine is not going to be involved, probably. He doesn't have any way of really detecting us. He has hydrophones, I'm presuming, but... Yeah, I know he's pinging us. I can hear it. <laughs> um, oh. So I think it's probably just going to be the one destroyer, I guess, is the point. And I'm putting him astern of us, and I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea. I hear him again. This is another thing like the depth gun, or deck gun attacks. Once you've been through one depth charge attack, you've kind of been through them all. Um, saying that message twice, so I don't know if that means that he's got two, there's two people dropping him. Well, it's now it's saying three times. Once, twice, three times a depth charge. These don't seem to be such good shots, but as soon as I say that, there's going to be one that hits us squarely in the ass like one of those might. I'm pointing with my fingers because I can't point with my mouse here. Oh, that's just going to miss. There was one that went right by our propeller, and it is still going down past it, so we're good, I think. Must have been it that exploded there. Oh, these guys are all exhausted. Yeah, you guys get to be swapped out. Especially you. Jesus. How about we put... Yeah, that's actually a good spot for him anyways. Uh, swap this guy in. And this guy in. We'll put you in nav. These guys are doing okay. I don't think I need to preemptively put a damage control team together just because I don't feel like this guy's too skilled. And it is just the one so far. So, uh, if we get hit or if any near misses occur, I'll start recording again. But at this point, this is probably going to be another one that I just make it out of by the skin of my teeth, as usual. Running risks, taking chances shooting torpedoes into the fleshy flanks of our enemies. It's the life of a U-boat captain. Well, after yet another uneventful depth charge attack, which lasted for a little while, but was not very effective, um, we have successfully evaded the uh, destroyer that was sent to kill us, and we are going to try, if we can, to sink these jerks now. And they are still heading north, so I'm going to try and reacquire them further, further north, obviously. <laughs> uh, for the time being, I'm moving us up to periscope depth just to see if we can surface, which we probably can. But uh, I'm not too ashamed by my miss on that cruiser, just because, like I say, that bubble trail is what clued them in. They definitely knew that we were there, so um, or that they. They knew that they were going to get hit, obviously. So, um, it's a kind of a crappy feeling, but what can you do? Well, I tell you what you can do. You can not use Type 1 torpedoes, but we made our decision. We have to live with it. So, it looks like we're clear. The nearest contact is well out of visual range. I'm going to continue putting us northeast, and I'm going to put us on the surface and try to overtake them.